after a powerful storm slammed the region with heavy rain and flooding. Dozens of drivers had to be rescued after they were stranded by the floodwaters. At least one person has died and thousands of people. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, guys. Yeah, California, some areas have picked up more than 10 inches of rain, which is a lot for that part of the country. Want to show you the airports because there are a lot of spots where we could see some delays because of weather. Minneapolis, Chicago, Kansas City, right down into Dallas and Houston. Big storm system moving through the middle of the country. It's leaving the Rockies. So even back through Salt Lake City and Denver, we could see uh, some delays at the airports there as well. So the into South Dakota, Nebraska, over into Minnesota, too, parts of Iowa and Des Moines, just to the northwest of there, we could see uh, some s significant snow, but also blowing snow. So blizzard-like conditions are possible. Then on the warmer side of the storm system, we have a chance of severe storms today, especially across Arkansas, down into northwestern Louisiana and parts of eastern Texas, too. Large hail is a possibility, but the biggest threat will be for damaging wind gusts and also isolated tornadoes. This is going to move eastward as we go through the day today. So snow through the Midwest and also that rain will move to the east and then this would, will eventually uh, reach the east coast as we go into Tuesday night and Wednesday. Chanel. All right, Dylan, thank you. Turning now to new concerns over COVID. Much of the focus on China three years after the first case was identified there. After loosening restrictions, the company is going but first, let's turn back over to Dylan for the rest of your forecast. Is it calmer today? The last time I saw you, it was nuts. It was <laughs> nuts. It's still kind of pretty nutty across the country, especially this time around right through the middle of the country. Severe storms down into Arkansas and Texas, but snow and ice on the northern side of it. That will mostly impact the northern plains and the upper Midwest as we go through this afternoon. That's a look at the weather across the country. We'll get to your local forecast seconds. Come be a part of the world's most magical celebration now through March. 69, Philly, 60 degrees for a high temperature will likely break records or at least come close to them um, in parts of the Northeast as we get to Wednesday. New York City, 62 degrees, 68 in Washington, D.C., but then the temperatures tumble. Chicago's back down below freezing by Thursday. Cincinnati's in the 30s uh, for Thursday and Friday, and Washington drops back down to 43 for Friday. So it's short-lived, but at least we'll get it nonetheless. That's a look at the weather across the country. Now here's a peek out your window. Uh, Dylan, thanks. Good morning. Uh, the view from Earth came a cool one. We've got some cool clouds out there and even some sun trying to break through. That's how we'll go today. 50 degrees at Central Park, 37 in White Plains, 39 in Islip. You can see with the radar and satellite picture, nothing on the radar. And that's the case all day today. We'll get a little more sun to peak out this afternoon by 2 o'clock, all the way up to 55 degrees. Now, tomorrow by late morning and midday, the rain moves. And that's your latest forecast. All right, thank you, Dylan. Up next for many football and beer go hand in yes, hand. Yes, it does. But our Sam Brock visited. Good morning again, guys. I want to just point out that in California, we've had about five to ten inches of rain over the weekend. And with this next storm system making its way on shore, San Francisco will likely see more of this rain. So that is going to be the next big threat out in California. More flooding rain possible with the ground already totally saturated. That's look at the weather across the country. Now here's a peek out your window. Hey, hey. Dylan, thanks. Some clouds out there right now. Mild 49 at Central Park, 46 at Newark. We're down to the 30s from Bridgeport, White Plains, and Poughkeepsie. But the us for the weekend. And that's your latest forecast. All right, double duty for Dylan this morning. Filling right. in for Carson on Pop Start. Let's do it. <laughs> Triple D this morning. Yeah. All right, first up, Miley Cyrus and Here's Eve Bar. The duet. I love and I remember it. watching it thinking, okay, Dolly is her godmom. For her, I hope she was really for Miley. What a beautiful moment right. that she'll always oh, remember, sure. right? And now that? the kids are going to love Dolly forever after oh, that. Yeah. Oh, great. for sure. That's great. Um, all right, if you did not get to check out Miley's New Year's Eve party, it is streaming now on Peacock. So you'll have to check that out. Next up, we've got some exciting news. Hoda's original podcast. Podcast, making space it's coming back for a third season in these brand new episodes debuting in just one week on january 9th you'll join hoda for heartfelt conversations that will leave you feeling inspired some of the guests this season include motivational speaker and author mel robbins country icon winona judd and so many more Make sure you don't miss an episode by giving the podcast a follow. Search for Making Space with Hoda Kotb wherever you get your podcasts. And tune in tomorrow because we are going to have a listen to the new trailer for season three. I love that podcast. All right, coming up, some uh, inspiration. If you've made a resolution or pointers on the best ways to reset for the year ahead. Don't go anywhere. Local news coming up. <laughs> Right.
right now we're bringing uh, really heavy rain and tornado watches and even some tornado warnings in parts of the Ohio River Valley moving into the south as well. This is round one. Round two is going to kick in later on this afternoon where we do have this threat across Mississippi into central and southern Alabama where tornadoes are possible along with wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour. Tomorrow that threat will move into Georgia and the panhandle of Florida. We also have significant amounts of water falling from uh, these storm systems. So we can see rainfall rates of about one to two inches per hour because of that. We have flash flood watches and warnings in effect right now, but also down into parts of the southeast. That's where we're going to see uh, the risk as we go into this afternoon with multiple rounds of rain. We could see as much as four to five inches of rain, especially down into Alabama and Georgia as we go into this afternoon. Hoda. All right, Dylan, thank you. Uh, we get to say good morning and happy new year to Craig. Hi, Craig. Happy good morning new and happy year. new year. Oh, Savannah, good to see both of you and good to see you as well. At the Vatican this morning, thousands of mourners are once again paying their respects to Pope Emeritus Benedict. He is lying in state ahead of his funeral on Thursday. NBC's Molly Hunter is at the Vatican for us this morning. Molly, good morning to you. Craig, good morning to you. And just behind me, there is a constant flow of people, thousands of people heading inside to St. Peter's Basilica. The faithful, the curious, tourists, and people that have traveled hours and hours and support from his fans. Guys. Indeed. Wow. Our thoughts and best wishes with Jeremy Renner mm -hmm. this morning. Thank mm -hmm. you, Aaron. Absolutely. Let's get a check of the weather. They did get so much snow. There's so uh, much snow, and, and it's just been a series of storms making their way on shore. In fact, we're already watching the next one as it's out over the Pacific. That's going to make its way on shore and bring the next round of rain along the coast, flooding rain, a possibility, and also more mountain snow. So it is still pretty far away. So I think it's more of a Wednesday storm that we're going to see hit California and then eventually move eastward. Uh, in some of the valleys, we could end up with about two to four inches of rain. Again, the ground is really saturated at this point. So you, when you add three to five inches of rain, that could lead, obviously, to some flooding. We also have the last storm that impacted California now moving into the eastern third of the country, where we do have uh, severe storms possible down south. Record high temperatures out ahead of it, but very cold behind it, where snow and ice is a possibility back through Minnesota into parts of uh, the Dakotas, too. That's a look at the weather across the country. Now here's a peek out your window. Dylan, thanks. Along with some of the showers, we have some fog out there. Pretty dense, especially through central Jersey, so keep an eye on that. Some of those lighter showers that we've watched moved in this morning are pushing into the Hudson Valley and Connecticut, Long Island as well. I slip at 48. That's what we find at Central Park. Plan on steadier rain moving in later this morning into the midday by 2 o'clock. Temperatures right about 51. It's about 3, 4. And that's your latest forecast. All right, Dylan, coming up next, we're going to take a look back at the trailblazing life and career of a woman who meant so much to so many. You can see, yes. right? Just but let's say out. you're starting to go like this and yes. you know, you're not yeah. seeing the traffic lights clearly. You need to get your eyes checked. I feel like after I had all my kids, the doctors constantly asked about my mental health, you yes. know, like along with the physical. Yes. So how important is it to check up with your mental health each year? Right. And what are some symptoms you can keep an eye out for? Well, that's the thing. I think we are so accustomed to thinking about sugar and cholesterol and diabetes and those are all very important things. But are we spending enough time actually asking ourselves if we're doing okay mentally? So what are some symptoms of anxiety? Restless sleep, uh, not sleeping well, feeling easily fatigued, difficulty concentration, concentrating. We'll put up some symptoms of depression as well. Things that can affect your, um, how, uh, your appetite. You can mm -hmm. feel empty. You can feel hopeless. There's a lot of overlap, obviously, yeah, between right. the symptoms of anxiety and depression. Here's the thing. We've talked about this a lot, especially during the pandemic it's been harder to get mental health care mm -hmm. um, there are a lot of apps that that do this um, I was speaking to one of my psychiatry best friends from medicals this morning and I said what apps do you like and she said you know things like simply being headspace mm -hmm. there are some apps that track nutrition and track your sleep that can be really really helpful because it's not just about taking right. antidepressants and things like that but it's also these other things the you can do for your too. mental health right. Yes. all right dr. now that we've covered basic oh. cancer screenings be mindful of those dr. Nally, thank you yes. Thank you, Thank you so much. Solid. Thank you. Yeah. All right, just ahead, a Marine turned DIY expert whose skills earned her an invitation to the White House. The third hour. Yeah, Dylan's been very busy tracking it all this morning. Hey, Dylan, good morning. Good morning, guys. Part of the problem is we've had storm after storm impact California and the West Coast. So as the next storm moves on, the ground is already saturated and it leads to the threat of mudslides and flooding. San Francisco is about to see some of that really heavy rain, and this is going to affect Central California over the next several hours, but still bring 
some of that heavier rain all the way down to Southern California, too. We could see north of the Bay Area, north of San Francisco, up to eight inches of rain. This could lead to mudslides and also uh, all that runoff it could lead to flooding as well. But not just the rain, the wind is going to be a factor as we could see gusts up to 50 to 60 miles per hour. It is just going to be an absolutely miserable day out in California. We've had severe thunderstorms that could produce wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour. Isolated tornadoes are possible as well. And we do have a risk of some hail, although it's the wind and the tornado threat that will be the biggest concern, especially down through Georgia into uh, the panhandle of Florida as well. So we'll be keeping an eye on those throughout the afternoon, Savannah. All right, Dylan, thank you. And in the meantime, with Americans heading back to work and school, there is still this concern about a post holiday. And thank you. And in the meantime, with Americans heading back to work and school, California, Dylan's been very busy tracking it all this morning. Hey, Dylan, good morning. Good morning, guys. Part of the problem is we've had storm after storm impact California and the West Coast. So as the next storm moves on, the ground is already saturated and it leads to the threat of mudslides and flooding. San Francisco is about to see some of that really heavy rain, and this is going to affect central California over the next several hours, but still bring some of that heavier rain all the way down to Southern California, too. We could see north of the Bay Area, north of San Francisco, up to eight inches of rain. This could lead to mudslides and also uh, all that runoff it could lead to flooding as well. But not just the rain, the wind is going to be a factor as we could see gusts up to 50 to 60 miles per hour. It is just going to be an absolutely miserable day out in California. We've had severe thunderstorms that could produce wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour. Isolated tornadoes are possible as well. And we do have a risk of some hail, although it's the wind and the tornado threat that will be the biggest concern, especially down through Georgia into uh, the panhandle of Florida as well. So we'll be keeping an eye on those throughout the afternoon, Savannah. All right, Dylan, thank you. And in the meantime, with Americans heading back to work and school, there is still this concern about a post holiday traffic conditions, a bomb cyclone connected to a strong atmospheric river will wallop the West. Over the next seven days, three separate atmospheric rivers could drop up to 20 inches of rain. The dumping deluge that caused this epic holiday storm has now brings us to Dillon, mm -hmm. and that has been the story out west. Yeah, and if you can believe it, we are expecting three more of three more storms over the next seven days out west. So what is going on? There's a lot of things to explain here. First of all, that bomb cyclone, it's really a technical term that when a storm, the pressure of the storm drops 24 millibars in 24 hours. That actually happened twice with this most recent storm. So it's kind of a double bomb cyclone, so a very, very powerful storm. This is called the Pineapple Express. You have the moisture extending from uh, the Hawaii area, extending 4,000 miles over the Pacific Ocean, and then dumps all of that moisture. It just kind of picks it up as it moves across the ocean, and then dumps it all into, unfortunately, California. So this is the setup, and until that setup changes, we're going to have to deal with more and more of these storms. So we do have the heavier rain now stretching down into Southern California, and then as we continue through the day, we're going to see more wet weather, especially north of the Bay Area. So that's an area that was hit hard yesterday, and we could see another several inches of rain in that spot. We could see rainfall rates of about one to two inches per hour. Rainfall totals up to about three to five inches. The ground is totally saturated, so flooding is likely going to happen. The mudslides or the threat of mudslides going to happen as well because the ground can't hold on to any more moisture. We're also looking at about one to three feet of snow in the ski resorts and up into the mountains. That's a look at the weather across the country. We'll get to your local forecast in the next 30 before we leave this, look at her. I mean, she's so creepy and she dances. <laughs> now, the you, trailer yeah. came out. It just has a blip. But first, this is today on NBC. Oh, oh. <laughs> was there? Call or click to get a quote today. Good morning, damp and dreary, definitely foggy, a lot out there, less than a quarter mile of visibility at Newark, about three quarters at Central Park, half a mile in White Plains, so give yourself lots of extra time. At least we're rain free, at least a steady rainfall, lots of drizzle. 49 at Central Park now, we're headed up to about 54 by later on this afternoon. It is later this evening and tonight. And that's your latest forecast. All right, Dylan, thank you. Uh, coming up, breaking overnight, the suspect in the live in Buckingham Palace with the fallout. But first, this is today on NBC. You can't deny the facts. There can only be one local team that is the most accurate. Yep, it's us, and it's certified by weather rate. There can only be one team that is the biggest. That's right, 10 weather experts all working to keep you and your family safe. There's only one team that gives you forecasts in two languages. NBC4 in English and Telemundo 47 in Spanish. The biggest team delivering the most accurate forecasts. Because it makes all our lives easier. No one else in the tri-state can say all that. News for New York and Telemundo 47. I want to tell you a story. 
All right, nice senior international correspondent, Keir Simmons. Keir, thank you. One-sided battle right now. Yeah. It's Harry firing yeah. all the missiles. We'll yeah. see how the palace responds. Mm -hmm. All right, let's turn to Dylan and get another check of the weather. Okay, and we do have that warm-up that was uh, we got to enjoy yesterday is now going away. That cold front is clearing the area, so we are seeing a little bit of light snow up across northern New England. Still fairly mild, relatively speaking, but we're going to settle into some cooler temperatures, more seasonable for this time of year. Some snow showers in and around the Great Lakes, and man, just one massive storm after another. This one will impact California once again with lots of rain and mountain snow. That's a look at the weather across the country. Now here's a peek out your window. Dylan, thanks. And the peak out the window right now is really foggy. From the city, Newark, less than a quarter mile visibility. So count on a lot of fog, especially through northern New Jersey, the city, and Hudson Valley. It's still mild, 49 degrees, although cooler than yesterday. That is true. Up to 53 degrees. Count on at least some of that drizzle and showers. And then more likely those showers arriving later on tonight. Temperatures slowly falling into the low and mid 40s. Those showers wrap up tomorrow. Looking good for Saturday. Home. And that's your latest forecast. All right, thanks, Dylan, thanks, thank Dylan. you. Coming up next, we are going to take you behind the scenes of that big morning. Boy, we got right now. Actually, there's six of them, right? Look at them. Oh, yeah. Just staring at us. There they are. Totally normal. This is just part of my life now. By the way, no one told us these ladies were coming, and they scared Dylan Dreyer. She's trying to do the weather, and these six creepy Megan dolls are all looking at her. Tell me about the inspiration for this. Well, I think it came from the, I came from the brilliant mind of James Wan. And but first, this is Today on NBC. Oh. Oh. Turn your low energy and fundraising. They really put in That's a lot of effort, cool. but it's like I remember, you know, just anytime you're on the bus, yeah. whether it's for sports or whatever you're going to, like that that meant that just bonding like you yeah, have yeah. on the yeah. bus and that sisterhood and is just so special. Cool. That's awesome. It really yeah. is. And you're a product of a STEM education. I am. These are your people. They are yeah. my people. Uh, yeah. When we come back on this Thursday, yeah. fitness expert Tracy Anderson. Hey. She's worked with some Hollywood A-listers, but this morning she's going to work with some New York B-listers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or C-listers. She, exactly. She's going to share <laughs> some of her go-to moves with us. Third hour of today, right back after this. Oh, and by us, we mean Dylan and Come to TurboTax and Wow. So yeah. much coming. Keep those, those whatever you call them, hollow holds. Yeah, I got to do yeah. those hollow holds. Exactly. Uh, Chelsea, thank Chelsea you. thanks so much. Uh, your stand-up special, Revolution, out right now on Netflix. All right, coming up next, we are getting moving with Perfect. the fitness expert. She's practicing her there hollow body hold right oh. now. Oh. Making it's it look hard. so easy. Tracy Not Anderson easy. is here to help us reach those 2023 health goals. <laughs> and then a little bit later, some ideas to help cut down on screen time, like the piano lesson. We are back with another Start Today workout this month. In addition to getting those steps in, we are trying some moves that kind of work the whole body. All right, so you know who's with us this morning to help us get moving. We have fitness expert and Trace, uh, expert Tracy Anderson, creator of the Tracy Anderson Method, which needs no introduction. Tracy, good morning to oh you. Oh, my goodness, good morning. I told you I like sock you on Instagram, so it's so fun to have you here <laughs> oh my gosh. in person. And so we wanted, we had a little help this morning. So we have two of our staff members joining us. We have Christina and Colby, and you say... Good morning to you guys. So you say the beauty of your method is essentially that no matter what your shape or your size, Absolutely. we can all gain strong, lean muscles, Yes, right? we're meant to be dynamic in our bodies. We're meant to move in our bodies without hesitation. And, you know, we're going to go through some moves, and you'll okay. see that that paying attention to your entire body really matters. Everyone mm -hmm. has a primal right to move. And just the systems that we live in, they really like prevent that. us from moving in so many ways. You all can do it. Primal okay. right to move, I like that, okay. It's a fact, so we're gonna start down, we're gonna flip the effects of gravity okay. on our bodies, which is actually really healthy for us. And your spine health really matters, and also organ massaging, so here we go. Oh, okay. We're gonna lean back, Okay. and then you're just gonna come up and put your foot forward and then you're going to reach it to the side open up your hips come back to center and rock back okay, okay. so hip you said massaging your side. organs i've never heard anybody say <laughs> I that i know but I've it's never really heard important. That so many people think they have digestive issues and all kinds of things and no one's moving their bodies the way that we're meant to move. Huh. So you're meant to be so able to. So this is moving some organs around. We are moving some organs around. Okay. Exactly. So just one more like that, plus you're rolling in your spine. So spine health really matters. And so many people are sitting at their computers no, I'm not or I'm not on rolling their enough. devices. And now you're just going to roll forward and you're going to take the right leg back 
in this little bent, like very ballet-esque mm -hmm. attitude. I feel like and we're just gonna, after this. Yeah, we're gonna act <laughs> activate the glute, and also we're making a little rotation in the spine that the spine really likes. Mm. Okay. How often a day? I mean, you're probably doing this every day, but for most well, people at home, what, what would you, you say? You should move every single day. Sure. I love that the science is really supporting, especially the science and longevity is really supporting all of my years of study, um, where, you know, when I was coming up, people were like, three days a week, exercise 20 minutes a day. And t t today, what do they say? all the science says, you've got to move every day. Every day. You have to move every day. But like it no doesn't shortcut. have to be aggressive. So now, oh, okay. and also balance is really important for your brain health, the longevity of your brain health. So we're going to stand up and test our balance a little bit. You're just going to reach your right arm to the ceiling and just activate the right leg. And you're literally just going to take your elbow to your knee, just like okay. this, elbow to yeah. your knee. But you would be surprised how many people have lost their sense of balance I believe and abil your ability to stabilize, right? Yeah. So this is just all you're going to do. This is considered an exercise, OK? OK. Just reaching, all right? You know what's interesting is how much we didn't need all, a bunch of equipment no. and not a lot of space. Right. Nope, just you don't really need body. it. You really are designed to be able to just take care of your health. My hip yourself. is clicking <laughs> as I do that. Is that bad? <laughs> it's not bad. It just needs some I can just ironing out. Yeah, it needs <laughs> to be and now out we're going to activate your glutes. You're going to kneel down. And your glute is going to do what it likes to do best, right? It's okay. going to stabilize and it's going to launch you up. And then you've got all these muscular highways through your body that you can pass the ball to, mm -hmm. and they'll help you out with this balance. But this is a, a little bit more difficult with balance. So you're going to come down mm -hmm. into this sort of like ready, set, go mm -hmm. position. And you're going to lift up, Ooh. stabilize through the glute, and reach all the way to the ceiling. And that little ending Please really matters. See, look at, and Dylan is like yeah. this yes. stunning, fit, beautiful young <laughs> right? woman. Right? Don't tell me again. I'm yeah. like, what? There you go. But you We've got producers over here doing and, it in and heels. Bring, those, bring like... those arms together, Dylan. Oh, arms together. I thought we were going back down. Yes, reach okay. it up. So you can really feel it through your spine. Yep. Just so like good. two more here. OK. And then you can do these on the left, too, Inspire. because I know you're all tape recording this at home so that you can work out with me all day. I was just about to say, <laughs> this is so good. Tracy, thank you so much. Yep. And because Tracy's a giver, I know the balance. It's a bad balance. Right? It's, it's a um, thing. So it's she's a giver. So if you want to go to today.com, she has all of these moves and so much more um, so we can get fit in 2023. Yes. Thank That's you so much. Thank, Thank you so much. Alrighty, Al. Well, okay, guys, we've got our most intense segment ever. That's right. <laughs> ideas to get our home. I was a little, I was a little campy. Yeah, was very a little nice. Campy. Very nice. Uh, ideas to get your whole family off of the screens. We're going to help you refresh your digital routine when the third hour of today comes right back. We have a sleeping bag together. <laughs> Look at these mighty Quaker oats. Heart healthy, a good source of fiber, and for only cents per day. There's no denying Quaker Oats are the grain of all time. Quaker Oats, a super trusted superfood. For adults with generalized myasthenia gravis, who are positive for acetylcholine receptors, Ah, it is the season of resolutions, folks. And the, uh, a very popular resolution is to spend a lot less time staring at these yes. things or staring at a screen in general. So this morning in our Start Today Refresh, we are going to tackle how to build better digital habits. And here to help us, Lauren Good. Lauren is a senior writer at Wired. Good to have you. Let's start with this, because a lot of folks pledge to have this, like, digital detox. Yeah. Gonna dig you, you maintain that's actually a bad idea. It's not necessarily a bad idea, but it's a little bit misleading. Okay. Right? Because I think you do think you're going to go on vacation for a week. You're going to put your phone in the safe. Maybe you're going to go cold turkey on an app or something. Yeah. It just doesn't work, right? It's like a fad diet. Your adherence to that is low. You're just going to fall off. So the key Thanks. is to slowly build better habits over time. You guys have been talking about this this whole show, yeah. right? To take up activities that feel a little bit more meaningful, yeah. connect you with other people, and then maybe you're thinking about your screen a little bit less. Okay, Lauren. Well, let's let's dig in here because one of the main reasons I think a lot of pick up a lot of folks pick up their phone besides don't besides like doom scrolling, <laughs> right. they they use their phone as their watch, yes. as their clock. Oh my gosh, to check the time, mm -hmm. right? Yes. I mean, some studies say that we pick up our phones as many as 300 times a day. So I'll look at right. to see what time it is and then forget what time it is. And then you yep. end up scrolling yeah. on Instagram uh, forever, right? Oh, look uh, at that classic. Now that's, that's a beautiful That's straight watch. analog right there. Yeah, that, that is some wrong. old school watch. Well, we have some other options what here too, that? which I think are pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this one is the Ginkgo Cube Click Clock. Oh. It's actually an alarm clock. 
I love this because, I mean, basically it's design. It just looks like a block. It's yeah. kind of decorative. Very minimalist. It's very minimalist. You can program it, though, to show you the time, the date, the weather, the temperature. Nice. And when you tap on it, the, oh. the time goes on and off. So basically you set the alarm at night, and then it's next to your bed. And let's say mm -hmm. you don't want the digital lights right. kind of mm -hmm. brightening up your you room. Tap just tap it and turn it off. I like this. And then a good old-fashioned clock. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. Just a, Go figure. Yeah, right? What a concept. I know. <laughs> An old-fashioned clock. So that's, that's a great start. Yeah, and the, I mean, these, this is another option. And in fact, Braun, the folks at Braun tell me that people still ask them, do people buy clocks? Mm. And they do. And this is a classic Braun analog clock. There's a big one and a small one here. And what I like about this is, once again, it's very clean, simplistic design, yeah. right? Mm. The brand Braun is often associated with the famed industrial sure. designer, yeah. Dina Roms. And, um, and so you can see how this is like, you know, very clean, very beautiful, but still very functional. These are also mm. very quiet. Exactly. Yes, I want to get one of those because I do not have a clock in my house, if you can believe it. You need it. some wow. of these, Dylan. Yes. Um, so all ages, I feel like, need to just get off any sort of, like, the digital, just doom scrolling, you know? And I feel like all yeah. ages just are drawn to it. What are some other options? Yeah, I mean, part of building healthy habits is definitely thinking about tangible activities, right? Interacting with nature in ways that just take you away from your screens. These are two products that we put on our wired list for 24 analog gifts that you're going to love that mm -hmm. are, you know, part of a digital detox. This is the Minel Sound Hole Kalimba. <laughs> People are gonna be like, what is this thing? Mm -hmm. It's a thumb piano. Mm -hmm. So oh. you don't have to play piano or really know too much about music to get into this. She, she, African she, yeah. she showed me how That's to use correct. it. That's correct. It has African oh, origins. Yes. Okay. And you pick it up and you basically, it's, it's 10 notes. It's in uh, the C major scale. And you pick it up and you just it play it with calming. your thumbs. Oh. And it's, it is, it's meant to be very and relaxing it and soothing. Yes. That's right, you can play it for your plants. You can play it, you know, huh. yoga, you know, it's, <laughs> very good at this. Right, thanks, thanks. I think you've got a another job going for you. Okay. And, and Lauren, and we've, then, got, we've got one of these, this seems counterintuitive, talking about uh, getting off devices, <laughs> but yet bringing a, uh, a Google Assistant. Yeah, that's a really good question. I knew you were going to ask that, Al. Okay. I have one of these in my bedroom, and I have to say, I thought too, like, do I really want more tech in my bedroom? Yes. This is great because of what I said earlier about the clocks. It means you don't have to pick up your phone. Mm. You can just use the voice assistant. You can uh, have it set alarms for you. You can have it play studio music. Whether it's your Alexa you can or iPod Home or correct. something like that. Yes, exactly. Why don't you bring you your can... games under here? <laughs> Bring the games yes. over here yes. to it's the tent. It's a little tents. hard to carry Django. Okay, over. yeah. So <laughs> one of the things that's great for family time, right, are just games that you can all play together where people aren't as incentivized to be on their phone. Sushi Go is None a hugely popular loose. game. It's a card game. Everyone's involved. You have to, like, pass your cards to the person next to that's you. Cute. Everyone knows Jenga. This is a very classic Hasbro game. It's one of their most popular mm -hmm. games. You can write little messages to people, like, on the blocks and yeah. bury oh, it in cute. there. And what yeah. about the tent? So, oh, I the tent. Oh, I wish this. we could, like, bring the sill plant. That's what I that's said. Right. Bring them over you know here. what? I think if you put this, Craig, didn't you do this once where you put we a did. tent up in the yard? During the, the height you can of go COVID. camping in your own backyard. Did it twice. Yes, it's that all is correct. Space. I don't know if I can like beat the, the, the dad joke that Al made earlier what about this say? being intense. Oh, but cute. we are getting intenser. This is the Coleman this six person cool. Look how big it is. Tent. I love this Still tent. This is called the screen room here. Right? You can even like pull this back so you can see the stars at night. And what's cool about this is that they claim you can set this up in five minutes. Because five minutes? Five minutes. This is what they say. Are you? This is very All right, like bye, guys. Are you like an upgrade day. No, not at all. <laughs> five five minutes. Look, you can no. end up inside all the way. Well, it's actually a six As someone who's doing it, it's a lot of fun. Lauren, thank you for more Thanks, of these guys. products. It's today.com slash shop. Third Coming up on New York Live, must try eats in the middle of Manhattan. We are rounding up some new 30 Rock hotspots. Plus, how to supercharge your day at the world's largest indoor go kart track. And we'll see you then. Hey, don't forget, check out our streaming special, 10 a.m. Eastern, The Royal Rundown, hosted by Kim.